Hey there, it's Rich with Rich Baum Photography for part two of my live uh, broadcast. Um, not live, I guess it was, but it was uh, Martin Beebe, my buddy, was filming me, and I like doing those kind of videos when I get a chance. So now we're doing the part two, which is the edit of that image. And here is the final image. Pretty happy with it. This is a really simple room. Certainly only needed one light to photograph this. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I really kind of overkilled it for the video, but I wanted to show you how you could use multiple lights. So let's get started with what I used. Okay, I'm going to go with my ambient shot I picked out here, and I made it, I flagged it red. I labeled it red so I know which shots I'm going to use, because I have all the different exposures that you saw in the video. And I chose to use this one. And what I'm going to do here is just take out some of the highlights, and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit in exposure because I want it to match. Here is my flash shot, and I want it to match the flash shot. So I'm going back and forth. Here's the flash. I'm sorry. Here's the flash shot, and here's the ambient shot. And I'm going to go back and forth, and you can see. I can use, I've got some shadows here, reverse shadows, coming from the camera because the lighting is from the camera, not from the window. The window is what should be dictating the shadows over here. And you can see it's a little flashy here. So I'm going to use some of this ambient here and that's looking good. So I'm going to use this one and the first thing I'm going to do with this flash image that I usually do is do my full bump, my special sauce, and it's looking good. Okay. Now I'm going to also use the flash exposure. And you saw the two I made was one was this exposure with, with power of the flash was half power pointed directly at the window. And this is at full power, a little bit brighter. So I'm guaranteed that everything around the window is brighter. So the darken mode will work. I'm now going to use the full bump on here too. So I'm happy with this now. I'm actually just going to bring it down in exposure a little bit. Okay, so let's highlight all three of these exposures and send them to edit in Photoshop as layers. Okay, so I'm going to take a little sip of coffee and say, hey, oh, New Year's resolution one is, is if you don't have a solid state hard drive in your computer, get one. And my uh, New Year's resolution for today is going to be if you don't want to do this extra work, you don't have to, but it's always good to know the tools and how to do this stuff. So it's okay if you don't want to do it because this flash shot is pretty good. I could deliver this, no problem, but uh, we're going to make it just a little better. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to highlight all three layers now that they're in Photoshop and I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to auto align my layers because I have noticed some movement in my tripod where I didn't think it was moving. So a good thing to do for everybody is to auto align your layers every time because we don't want ghosting. Okay, now we see here that these images are going to be in the order that they were shot. The ambient is on top, flash is on the middle, and then the, the, the window shot is on the bottom. So what I want to do is pull my window shot up to the top. I'm just going to make that separate that up to the top and I'm going to turn it off. And now I'm going to do as I always do. I'm just going to make a new layer mask with option on a Mac alt on a PC. And I'm going to go here and make sure I've got white for paint over here. And I'm going to do paint and I'm going to make it a nice soft brush zero hardness. Okay. And I'm going to go here and give it 6%, which I find is a good amount of flow. We all want to have the right amount of flow. Okay, so I'm going to now click OK on there. And I'm just going to start masking in. I like to make these, the size of the brush, nice and big. Under there, getting a little bit of, get rid of the natural, get the natural shadow coming in and get rid of the uh, artificial shadow. Here we go here. Okay, a little bit of shadow there. Okay, and if you look here, you can see I've got a double shadow here. I'm coming from, coming from the light, so I'll get rid of the shadow from the light. There we go. 
Get rid of the uh, bright shiny on this wicker basket. Get rid of the shadow there. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of ambient to the lamp. There we go. I'm going to go down here and get rid of this shadow down here. Okay, and I'm going to add in a little bit of the natural shadow here. You can see this is natural, so it looks good. Okay, come in here to this pillow. Just a little bit of ambient light, giving it a little bit of its life back to the image. Okay, and I'm going to go now, going to open this up, big brush here, just add a little bit of ambient, not much, and get a little bit of the ambient on the ground. There we go. Now next I want to just take a little bit of, looks a little flashy up here, a little bit of ambient here, a little bit of ambient on the wall, just a teeny bit. Get rid of this, you can see ceiling fan shadow right here, get rid of that. And I'm going to go over my windows because I don't care about the windows because I'm going to redo the windows right now in, in, uh, with masking in the window pull. There we go. Okay. So pretty happy with it. Let's look at it. Take it away. There's the flash shot. There's the ambient shot. Flash ambient. Little like her, I like it there. Look at it right there. Look at it right there. That's the uh, that's with the ambient masked in. Here's flash. A little bit flashy there. A little bit flashy there. Look at the couch now. Let's look at the couch. I like it a lot better. So it is very subtle, but I think it really is is a good thing. Okay. Now let's go take our let's um, reveal our flash layer, our window pull layer. And you remember one thing. I pulled the drape up here because I wanted so you could really see how this is working in darkened mode. And I don't mind that the drape is up. If I was really shooting this for real, I would have probably raised all the drapes this high because it's got a nice view out the window. Okay, so let's now make a new layer mask right here. I'm going Option with my um, layer mask with my Alt. I've got uh, Option key held down on a Mac, Alt on a PC, make a new layer mask. Okay, I'm gonna bring it nice tight into this windows here. And the first thing I'm gonna do, <coughs> excuse me, is put it in darken mode. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to bring it up to 100%. I like to mask in at 100%. So let's just go here, we're at paint, white paint. I'm just gonna mask it in here, there we go. Going over, just painting over the wall. And because it's in darken mode, you don't have to, you don't have to select anything. If it's brighter, if the wall is brighter, it's not going to show up in darken mode. So the view is darker, the wall is brighter. So let's just do one thing. I'm going to show you, and I've got these little uh, artifacts here, and I'm not even going to go into how to get rid of that. I could bring in another layer and mask that in. Uh, but I'm just not going to do this for the uh, for this video. So I'm now just going to go and I'm going to make it in black, X for black, and I'm just going to race here and reveal the uh, the window frame here. There we go, and the wall, and that happened again because this this lamp is causing a shadow, and the pillow is causing a shadow. So that was really easy to fix. Okay. And I got a couple of more I noticed over here. So let's just go here and erase that here. Yeah, freehand erase that. Anyway, there we go. Get rid of those little shadow pieces. Okay. So I'm going to just leave this for good now. And uh, you know what? I, I really think this is good um, image. Now when I bring it back into Lightroom, let's do a few things to it. So I'm just going to sign off on this. It's a um, done deal. A little bit of shadow there, a little bit of uh, shadow here. And uh, really, this was just to show you the tools. So let's press uh, Command S and then W. And it's going to bring it, save it back into Lightroom. And a lot of you wonder why sometimes the picture that's coming back into Lightroom is coming at the end 
of the group of photos. That's because here we have, you need to have instead of, hold on a second, let's go into library. Instead of if you're already on previous, in, uh, if you're on the, uh, down here already, you can, no, no, sorry. You have to be on all photographs. I can't show you now because it's not highlighted and I forget what it's called. Um, that's the current import would be here. You're on there and it's gonna put you at the end of the uh, row. But if you have that happen, I hope this makes sense, you just click all photographs and it will go back where it belongs, okay? So let's just come back in here. And one thing I'm gonna to have to do, because you remember, we had a little misalignment here. Let's uh, bring it really nice and tight so we can see that. You got a misalignment here, so what I need to do is just crop out. Let's go into develop. Let's go in here and let's uh, go into crop here and just bring this down a little bit here, a little bit here, make it a little smaller. And there we should be good to go. I've got a little bit up at the top too. There we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is give my final bump just a little bit of clarity, a little bit of black, and a little bit of whites. So here we go, and I'm pretty happy with this image. So thank you for joining me on this uh, behind the scenes tutorial, uh, one of shooting and one of editing. So you have a great day. Be sure to sign up, uh, I want you to uh, subscribe to the videos, and I'd like you to please um, tell your friends and leave your comments because I do answer all my comments and it might take a day or two, but I do my best. Have a great day. We will talk with you later. Rich Baum from Rich Baum Photography signing off.